Hi guys, um, welcome to Chronicles of a Student Midwife. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, it's been a while. But today I have my good friend here with me, and name is Mariah. And Mariah is from Texas. Texas, yeah. So I've asked Mariah, she's been so kind to just be here with me and answer some of those questions. Mariah, why don't you introduce yourself? What do you do? Hello, I'm Mariah and I am studying midwifery. Yeah, so Mariah is like me, she's studying midwifery and she's almost done. Hopefully next year, right? Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, Hopefully, yeah. So I, I put some questions down and the first one is, Mariah, why have you chosen midwifery? Why did I choose midwifery? That's a good question. What I normally think of first is that it's just an awesome, awesome profession. It's an awesome thing to do. Um, it's so wonderful. You get to be see the miracle of life mm -hmm. every day. And that's always been so amazing to me. And yeah, I just think about how wonderful God's creation is and just how wonderful the process of new life coming into this world is. Mm -hmm. But probably the first reason is because I feel like God wants God wants me to do that. That's what He's called me to do, to be a midwife. And so that's the main reason I picked this profession. Mm -hmm. Thanks, God. Thank you, Mariah, for that. Um, the next question is, uh, question is um, what are some of the lessons you've learned in being a student midwife? Well, the Lord is teaching me to love, mm -hmm. uh, to see people the way He sees people, and it's a prayer I have every day that I would see people the way God sees them, mm -hmm. and that I would love them the way He loves them. I've learned a lot about uh, communication, how to communicate God's love to the people I am serving, and I'm still learning that lesson, and a flexibility, that's a work in progress. I feel like I'm that flexibility of the... Flexible. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm that flexible. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I don't feel like I'm that flexible and patient. Mm -hmm. But most of all, I think it's been uh, learning to trust Him because there are so many aspects of midwifery that I just don't understand. Um, I don't know what's going on inside a woman. I don't know her past or the way she might interpret things that I do or what would be best for her and sometimes she can't always communicate with me. Uh, so it's learning to trust God, mm -hmm. completely and totally trust Him. Uh, that's the main thing He's been teaching me. That's so true. So it's love, patience. Um, what are the other things you mentioned? Service, love, patience, trusting God. Yeah, those are really big lessons. And I feel like even in even if you're not a midwife, you know, even if you're not studying to be a midwife, you can still, you know, learn these things. You know, it's it's part of life to Definitely, you know, so definitely. That's definitely. amazing. Okay, just to wrap it up today, uh, my last question, Mariah, is what advice would you give, you know, student midwives out there, or maybe just students in general in you know in their professions? What would you what would your advice be for them? Wow, that is a good question. Well, my main goal in life is to serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so, my advice would be get to know God, develop a relationship with Him, get to know His voice um, so that you can recognize when He talks to you. Mm -hmm. Read His Word, know His Word, and then trust him and follow him wherever he tells you to go. Mm -hmm. I know that's speaking more to Christians. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, I think everybody else, you know, they're the wonderful lessons of hard work and focus and diligence and don't give up and one step at a time that everybody kind of knows when you're pursuing any kind of goal. But yeah, I guess since my main goal is to glorify the Lord, that yeah. what I just said is probably getting to know the Lord and getting to know His voice um, so that you can uh, 
serve him better. And hear his direction is for me the most important. Yeah. I think those are very important points, Mariah, because I mean, you have to find your purpose in life. And when I say find, like, we, we are all created to, to serve God and to serve other people. And if you don't know what God has called you to, you, you might be following something that you think it's your passion or it's your goal or something you want to do. And it's not really what God is calling you to do. So it's, yeah, it might just not be where God wants you to. So I don't think you will do your greatest there. So yeah, trusting God and following Him. And of course, the other part of diligence and all of that. And I feel like God teaches you to be that, you know, it teaches you to be faithful and to be diligent and be focused and all, all that other good things. But yeah, yeah. seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness yeah. and all other things. All other things, including education and school and you know, purpose and all of that will be added. Yeah. yeah. Mariah, thank you so very much. Just we have to look there. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so I have my question. Um, right now we can't even see that, right? Or I have to remember to go like this. I've always caught it. How do you feel? 